In this video I'm going to show you how to create a bent steel framework or tube framework um, from a single sketch and using the command sweep along the path. Uh, this will require the sketch to pass in more than one work plane. So I'm going to minimise this and start with a new part. And instead of selecting a work plane to draw on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch and start a 3D sketch. Then I'm going to select the line drawing command and I'm going to start by drawing a line that goes vertically up my XY plane, across the top still in my XY plane and back down also still in my XY plane. And I'm going to match those line sizes to start with just so I'm happy that they're the same length, that one particularly and this one over here. And I'll just make that one 50. So I've got my first three lines drawn and I'm now going to move into a next plane. So I'm going to connect to the bottom of there and I want to come forward with this one but as you can see the yellow square that's still expanding is showing it as an XY plane which I don't want. So I need to press the tab key until I find the plane I do want. And that is not the correct plane and that one is. So it's the ZX plane. You can see there it's now lying in the horizontal. So I can now come forward with that one. I can go across with that and I can join back up to there. And I'm just going to make the dimensions the same. So I'll make that 50. I only need to dimension one of these and I'll make that 60. And the other one will automatically be 60 because that was locked to the squares on there. And in fact if I try and smart dimension that it will probably tell me it's over constrained, which it does. So I've got my tubular frame now. If you or my shape for my tubular frame. If you look at that as I rotate it around, you can see if I go to a side view using my space bar, it's actually coming along that plane. And if I go to a front plane, you can see there. So I'm just going to go back to control 7. Now, to be able to produce the circular shape that I want to sweep along this path, it will struggle when it gets to the corners. It won't go around a 90 degree corner. So I'm going to put radiuses on using my fillet tool and I'm going to select each corner. It will tell me that it's going to change some relations and what that means is that these dimensions that I've applied are not going to be true anymore because obviously I've shortened the lines by putting a radius on. So it's just checking with me that that's what I want to do and it is what I want to do so I'm happy with that. And I've radiused all the corners that I want to sweep around. I'm happy with that so I can exit that and I can exit the sketch. So I've now got a path for which I want to sweep along and I now need to create a work plane in a place where it bisects one of the straight lines. Now I've got three work planes to choose from, any one of them would work. I'm going to choose the top work plane just because it's easier to see from your perspective and I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard and as I pick up and drag you'll notice a pink appear and if I just drag this up so it's near the vertical tubing here somewhere long as it's on the flat part of the tubing rather than at a funny angle through the radius it will be fine and then I'm going to go to the work plane that's been created over here on the left and do a sketch and then I'm going to go normal to that sketch and this is the back corner so I'm now going to do a sketch on there I want to make it too big go to control 7 to take it back and see what I've got I've got a tube there well, I've got a, a circle there. I'm just going to put a dimension on that. That's diameter 3. I'll make it diameter 3.5. Click on the tick. And I'm now ready to sweep that shape along the path. Now, it does have to be on one of the straight lines, but you could have done it on any one of the straight lines that make up the shape. So, I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the Features command and do a Swept Boss Base. And I'm going to tell it that the profile is still selected on the drawing, so it's inserted that automatically into the profile. And the path is the other sketch, which is this one here. So if those things were not selected, if I just go back and delete those, what I have to do is tell it what the profile is it wants to sweep, and I want that one there. And then the path I want it to sweep along, which is this sketch here. And then I can click on the tick, and I've ended up with a swept shape. Now I can do a cross section through that and you'll notice that I've got three options for my cross section here. If I choose that one I can then drag my cross section through. You'll see at the moment it's just a solid shape. If I want to turn that to a tube I can turn the cross section back off. 
If I go back to where my sweep is and look at the sketches that have been hidden underneath there, the one I want to change is called Sketch 1. I need to edit that sketch, go normal to that sketch, and zoom in. And if you draw another circle inside of this circle, press Ctrl 7, go back to isometric, and then exit the sketch, it will update automatically. Obviously on the outside it looks no different. If I do a cross section now, you can see it's actually now a tube. turn the cross section back off and I'm just going to hide the plane by clicking on it and going to the picture of the eye with a line through it hide and that is how you use the 3d sketch and the sweep along the plane